Hello people, it feels great to be back on another episode of Gym Talk Show, doesn't it? Well, I'm your host going by the title Fortune Chanda. And today on this episode, I'm joined by my co-host and a very special guest who I think should introduce himself later on. Hello everyone, welcome to episode number 7 of Gym Talk Show. As you already know, I'm your host Tokozi Lemonde. And today we've been joined by a very special guest who I'm going to give the honors of introducing himself. Hey guys, yeah, my name is Doc Sensei and I'm here to talk to the guys and everything, yeah. Doc Sensei, sounds pretty interesting, but before we get to actually knowing Doc Sensei, what comes before Doc Sensei, your actual name? Yeah, um, so my actual name is Graham Chilenga. Yeah. I can see Tokozile gazing at the accent. <laughs> yeah, I'm wondering, Graham, where did you get your name? Where did you get the name Dark Sensei from? Well, um, basically, Dark Sensei is, um, I, I just got it from the things that I do because I'm actually good at everything that I do. And okay. yeah, that's the name Dark Sensei. Yeah. What are those things that you do? I think the viewers would be so interested in knowing what you like to do. All right, okay. Well, um, so I'm a poet, um, a motivational speaker, a singer, a rapper, and yeah, basically I'm just a lot of things, yeah. So you're nothing like martial artist or anything? Because I, the first thing I thought maybe that sense is something in black belt or anything like that. Yeah, even that is related. I mean, we can pick a fight anytime, somewhere. Oh, <laughs> yeah. okay. And Interesting. you don't want to pick a fight with somebody called Dark Sensei. No, you Dark don't. Dark Sensei. So, away from the introduction, Dark Sensei, how exactly did you find yourself in music? Okay, um, so basically, I've been doing music in the background, but not really um, on a commercial level. Yeah, so... I've been singing um, since I was maybe nine, yeah, and wow. uh, but not really on a serious level. But I knew that I could actually sing, so I think that's uh, 20, 2020, yeah. I actually joined the group called Wines Arts, yeah. Um, we used to sing a cappella, do poetry and uh, drama as well, yeah. Uh, that's why the the whole interest got. A a bit boosted up yeah so eventually in um, this same year 2021 in uh, June that's when I actually started going to the studio and doing music on a commercial type of level yeah so you're new to the performances the recordings that you just knew you could sing and you were singing but not actually making any records yeah precisely just like yeah. that um great in your explanation you mentioned that you just started doing the commercial music, the commercial, the music at a commercial level, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, what made you do that? Did anyone push you to do that? Did anyone tell you no? Just go and how did it come about? Well, okay. Um, so I've actually had this uh, urge to actually, you know, sing and um, just I just see myself on a commercial type of level, whereby I was actually inspired by Pompey and um, Eminem, Sheffy187, and many other artists. Yeah, but basically when I was doing music on a, a local level, uh, people began to say, I actually sound like Bombi. Yeah, something like that. So I just had to go to the booth, you know, um, and prove them wrong. Also to inspire some people, yeah. you know, to, to speak out some things that people can actually really say out there, you know, just like that. So yeah. I got motivated by that. So in the motivation, do you think you got enough um, support from your family, like your parents, your siblings? Do you think you got enough support? Did they support you that much? Well, basically, um, when I started music, it, it actually always seemed like a job. Yeah, because um, it was kind of hard. But my family was actually all the way with me in everything and they actually helped me and they actually supported me and yeah it's, it's been a good run though i've actually faced some challenges yeah but it's yeah so good can you mention some of those challenges that you faced for you to get where you are right now yeah um so when i started music i was actually doing a part-time job so i was actually having 
challenges were by managing the time to actually record and work and that type of thing. So I was basically just doing music on a Sunday. Yeah. But um, some other challenges were like um, go to record from because actually in Luanshe the studio is uh, kind of far off. Yeah, so it was actually kind of hard to just go to any studio because you have to find a studio that's uh, of good quality and it records nicely. Yeah, and um, singing in uh, a foreign language, let's just say the national language, English, so people can actually get it and they think you just showing off and whatever, but it's just the motivation behind it. Yeah, so it's, it's not a challenge, or anything, it's just motivation. You can speak other languages. Yeah, I can. If can we, you speak them by the Because listening to your accent. <laughs> yeah, everyone's been wondering yeah, about that. Been wondering. How you're twisting your tongue and accent. Any name for the accent? And um, the other question about the accent is Have you been to another country for you to develop that accent, or you've just been watching movies or getting inspiration from someone who speaks like that? Like me. <laughs> well, um, basically, um, about the accent and everything, yeah. Um, I actually started switching accents when I was 10, yeah, and uh, I've actually gotten used to, to speaking like this, but I can actually speak the local language, yeah, so I can actually say something, remember, yeah, um, like a guy's, uh, <laughs> so yeah, something like that, right? Yeah. Okay, just stick to English. So you, you, you can you can speak in Bemba, but you don't you don't even want to try singing in Bemba or rap. Yeah, they're not doing that. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I I support you. Don't. <laughs> so you said you 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 started professional music like this year. Yeah. And uh, I would like to ask. There's a song which I first heard from you that was Stranger. Was that your first song or it was the first recorded song officially? Well, um, basically Stranger, yeah, was my first song, but it wasn't actually the, the actual recording. I actually went to the first studio and then this guy just did me bad on the recording. So I couldn't actually really post it or, you know, to make it go viral or anything. So I had to look for another producer and uh, he actually goes by the name Fred. That's why I yeah, recorded, friend. yeah, yeah, I recorded um, Stranger From. And basically, Stranger just talks about um, um, how one should actually um, embrace themselves just as they are, like all their flaws and whatever they are, like not really uh, thinking bad about themselves and uh, yeah, just sticking to, to self love. Just like that. Yeah, so people, Dark Senses music is a great vibe. It's not just any music. This guy can... I've heard him sing and rap. So let me ask and him recite. this. And recite. And recite too. Let me ask him this. Dark Sensei. Yeah. Which part do you rely heavily most on? I think? Is it the singing part or the rapping? Because I've heard you in your songs, you do both the choruses, the singing part and the rapping. But which one takes most of your time? Um, so basically, um, what I do, I make sure it's 50 thing type of type of thing, yeah, 50 50. Yeah, so like, um, I make sure the, the verses are on point as well as the chorus, but mostly the chorus is just gonna be dope. So, like, yeah. capture the attention of people, you get what I'm saying, but yeah, so this just is the problem. Well, I, I like how this is going, the vibe, the accent, <laughs> the twisting. Um, I'm missing some things though, but I'm um, like. I can tell you, you're not understanding everything. No, I, I am. <laughs> Let's not say that. Okay, so... Um, Greg, do you do anything else apart from music? Do you think you're going to just stick with music? It's going to take you where you want to be? Or you're doing something else? Um, okay, at the moment, uh, I'm actually at school at the oh. Copa University. Yeah, I'm doing my uh, bachelor's degree in economics. Yeah, so on the music parts, I'll actually be dropping hits from now and then but not really um as much as i used to because i really got to concentrate on school and yeah so it's more like it um there's this hot question <laughs> that uh, i think everyone would want to know because everyone knows the dark sensei and they want to know if uh, you're dating are you in any relationship are you <laughs> wow. seeing someone <laughs> okay yeah so I'm actually dating. I'm, I'm not single. Yeah, I'm, I'm dating. Okay. Yeah. He's taken. He's yeah. taken, guys. <laughs> so, He's in a taken. serious relationship. 
it's very serious. It, it should, it's not something that we should know about. Or oh, the name of the yeah. mama, <laughs> just in case, like somebody else. <laughs> so it's, um, I just call her Baby T, but later on, so she's is, the one on the shout out. Yeah, most yeah. of your songs, the Baby T. Okay. So we can't know her name. We just know her as Baby T. Yeah, for now, yeah. <laughs> That's amazing. Um, do you think you get enough support from the team? Yeah, she's actually been there ever since I started, and uh, yeah, I actually have all the support I can rely on. Yeah. Um, Graham, you haven't mentioned what experiences you've had with different type of people. What people have you worked with so far? Or oh, just performing on other people's shows. Yeah. Those experiences. Or should we look forward to seeing you performing at a certain concert or anything? Um, so basically, I've, I've actually worked with uh, Frey. Yeah, we've we've actually done a song called Jehovah Frey with uh, Frey and uh, Slazy Miller. Yeah, and the experience was actually dope. Like it was really nice. Yeah, so far. And then I've actually done another song called uh, Better Days with uh, Jose and uh, I Am and To the Vibe as well. Then recently, I dropped a single called. Um, only officially J Lo, yeah, it was actually nice as well. And when I quite what you said, uh, the experience that I've actually had with uh, performing on other people's shows, um, yeah, performing on other people's shows is actually really dope. But uh, oh, you've done it before? Yeah, I've like actually done which it before. Show? Uh, we had uh, Sleazy Miller's uh, uh, mixtape launch, which was held at oh. Motete um, Guest House, yeah. Uh, yeah, it was actually nice. I actually performed there. Yeah, but yeah, away from that, um, I'm just looking forward to doing my own shows. Yeah, in the in the next uh, month. Yeah, so I'm, I'm pushing to that. Do you have a particular message that your music sends to people, or you just sing any type of music? Well, basically, the music that I do is not really uh, just for fun or clout or show itself. No. Um, I do music, it, it's, it's mostly um, a self awareness type of music, but, but it's always got to have a message and a lesson involved in it. So you write and. Yeah, I actually write and okay. do everything. Yeah. So, Graham, um, I heard you mention Pompey as your inspiration and motivation. Yeah. So, and I'm sure you'd like to maybe do a song with Pompey. But apart from him, if you you'd be given a chance to make a song, record a song with anyone, anyone, not just one person or a few to mention, who would those people be? Well, um, yes, uh, <laughs> that's a tough one, though. But I can actually work with uh, j Rocks. j Rocks. Yeah, he's, he's got his vibe. And then Jeff, you want 87? Yeah, and... Um, Mac 44 as well, also a bunch of music, yeah, these guys, they're dope. Yeah, and you know, most people think that, I like lying, okay. just like Togozili does right now. She thinks I'm lying about whatever I'm asking right now, including the audience. So, to prove I'm not lying, can you just do something for us? You can sing, and we need to know that. They need to know, so that they follow us. Us, you, 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 you're taking me along. <laughs> yeah, I get you, I get you. Um, yeah, so I'm just gonna do a, a verse and a chorus of YOLO, I think. It's cool. Yeah. It's cool. Alright, cool. My condolences to the old me. I was a good guy, but let it be. Now I roll solo, I hope you see. I'm now going viral, but it's not free. Laughed of me a lot, so I we go mending broken hearts wherever I go. Whenever I shoot my shot, it's a go. Cause at the end of the day, I'm fly like a knee go. Wow. <laughs> that I think moved some souls right here. I could see Tokozile is so moving. I don't know where she was, but she was somewhere up there. <laughs> and I'm sure you were also moved because I was. We yeah, go, you can go. actually get the message from this. Yeah. And like you said, you're trying to reach out to people. You can actually get that feel. Um, you know, um, a few weeks ago, I think it was a month ago, I'm not so sure, there's this thing that came out in Luansha, the Luansha Beach List, or was it Hula List? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, and um, apparently, you were on that list. How did you take that? How did you feel about it? 
And before you can answer, what number are you on? <laughs> I need to know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So about that. Um. So basically, I I thought that was just a thing. Then um, eventually, I actually got to to know is that. And then I was surprised. Because... Wait. You said you found out who wrote the. No, 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 no. Oh. No, no. Okay. Yeah, I actually found out that I was actually on a bitch list. Imagine that. Mm-hmm. All right, and. Well, it's it's kind of just brought the, the the bad vibes. Yeah. But then I actually knew that it didn't concern me because yeah, that's, I know for sure who I am and what I do. Yeah, and um, otherwise it happened. So did you get affected? You know, some people. If I was there, you know, I couldn't be leaving the house. I could just be indoors. So did it affect you like that, or were you in Luanja when that happened, or you were school? Um, I was actually in Luanja, yeah, oh. and. Um, Basically, um, it never really affected me that much, guys. Okay. There was actually an actual real list, and then there was a fake one in which I was on. Oh. Yeah, and okay. I heard people saying it was just uh, uh, formed by some students, yeah, from a certain school and whatever. Yeah, okay. so it didn't really concern me. Oh. So when you say there we was, were worried, <laughs> there was a real list and uh, a fake one. So you mean that it was published by the government? Not really, no. Like, on the actual list, it had uh, the names of the people and their characteristics you get. Oh, All right. Yeah. So that was what happened. You didn't tell us the number you were on. <laughs> well, uh, on the number of actually forgotten about it. Okay. I, I can't really remember. <laughs> yes. what, what about the babe T? How did she take yeah. that? Yeah. Yeah. So the funny thing about her, she was the one who actually sent it to me on WhatsApp. Wow. Oh. Yeah. And then... Was she moved? And then... Uh, <laughs> I was really surprised because she she never really um, reacted as I thought she would. Okay. She gave me all the support and she was just like, I know you're, you're not in, in this. I really trust you. And then, yeah. We it, need it girls like It was really baby. an amazing moment. <laughs> yeah. Like Babe T. Oh, it's she Babe really T. She really su- supported me. Yeah. Wow. Wow. He really has the support. So I see That's that. amazing. So, uh, before we wrap up, Fortune, do you have any more questions? Um, I think I'm done with my questions because it will go somewhere else. And I bet your fans and the viewers would love to hear anything that you have to tell them before we close. It's a form of encouragement. And, yeah. All right. Um, yo, guys. Um, so, basically, I just got to say thank you for the support and everything. And uh, look out uh, for my music. It's coming out soon. On Facebook, it's Doc Sensei. On YouTube, it's Doc Sensei. Twitter, it's Doc Sensei. Yeah, and um, other platforms too. And then um, I would just like you to, to do what you do. Never give up. And then just use your time wisely. Yeah. I bet the address is also Doc Sensei. That's what I <laughs> no. Everything is yeah, Doc Sensei. <laughs> okay. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for watching Dark Sensei. I bet you enjoyed the interview because we got to hear everything that he's gone through and even about the Hula list, we got to hear his view on it. Fortune, you can say your last words. Oh, my last words are continue watching the Gym Talk Show. Catch us on Facebook, catch us on YouTube, Gym Talk Show. It's Gym Talk Show everywhere. Thank you. Thank you.